So tomorrow starts day one of our 30 day pull up challenge. We'll be doing 100 pull ups every single day for the next 30 days. And we're gonna be using protein powder, which is uh, right here. So we're gonna be using this protein powder. We also have to go to the store to get some shaker bottles. So we'll be back with that. So got the shaker bottles, got the protein. Wonder for uh, forgetting anything else. I guess not. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the body progression and the weigh in with day one. So see you guys then. Peace. This is day one of our 30 day pull up challenge. Gonna go ahead and get to the body progression. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh in. We weigh 178 pounds even. This is day one. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with 100 pull ups. Day one of our 30 day pull up challenge. I think we're gonna have to go about doing these pull-ups same way we did our 200 push-ups doing all 100 at once in one sitting i'm gonna burn myself out so i'm gonna just take it nice and easy i have a full 24 hours the entire day to get 100 done so i'm gonna take my time Just like almost every other challenge, I already know I'm gonna be super sore tomorrow. So today is gonna be one of the easier days in the first couple weeks. However, if we can make it out of the gate past week one, I believe that we'll set ourselves up to complete this challenge. This completes day one of our 30 day pull up challenge. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. We have day two. Thinking the type of grips I'll be using will be wide, close, side grip, reverse grip, as well as staggered. I just would like to change up the grips so that way I can uh, invert different types of pull-ups. This completes day two of our 30 day pull-up challenge. See you guys tomorrow, peace. We've just finished week one and I kind of want to talk about how the week has been going so far from day one to today my soreness has gone down tremendously however 
I would say I am still pretty sore even right now. I can feel it more so in my bicep, my forearms, as well as my lats and my upper like rear delts. We've just completed day seven of our 30 day pull up challenge. And there's a few things I'd like to go over personally. For day one and day two, I would say my soreness level was definitely 10 out of 10. I've used this massage gun every single day, massaging out my biceps, my lats, my rear delts, a little bit of my forearms, and even sometimes on my shoulder and my neck. I've also had to use ice as well as a hand roller and a foam roller and I've also gotten a back massage. I believe that recovery is a very important part to being able to continue this challenge and from day one and day two coming from 10 out of 10 soreness I literally slept with my arms straight out so that way I would not lose flexibility and range of motion in my arms as because they're so tight, it's easy to keep them bent. And when I stretch them straight out, it's very sore and tender in here. I would say day one and day two, I had 10 out of 10 soreness. Day three to day six, my soreness was around an eight. And today is day seven. My soreness, I would say is around seven maybe six and a half i'm hoping that if i keep on massaging and doing recovery that the soreness will continue to go down as well as i'll get more used to doing the workout however i do want to increase the intensity to continue to uh, improve and not plateau these seven days have been sore to say the least we still have another 23 days to go, so I'll check in next week, let you guys know how I'm doing. See you guys then, peace. For week two, if I don't get a minimum of five reps per set, then I just won't count it, so. Oh my goodness. Oh no. That is a bit of a yikes. Currently on my way to my brother's to use his pull up bar. I've also been using it the past couple of days, so no big deal. Come in front of a problem, you just come up with a solution. This makes hotter pull-ups, completing day 10. For this week we'll be doing seven reps minimum and if you don't get them done then the set won't count let's go ahead and get to the pull-ups what's going on so we are already in week four today is day 22 and for this week we'll be doing a minimum of 10 pull-ups that means 10 reps per set doing a total of 10 sets making 100 pull-ups let's go ahead and get into week four
week four is in the books. We have two days left. Today's day 29. And honestly, so far, I feel that a lot of my soreness has gone away. My shoulders still do get sore. And I really noticed that my triceps have not ever really not been sore. My biceps don't really feel sore anymore at all. However, the soreness went from an extreme down to very minimal. I can tell that I'm still working very hard, so I'm going to be sore. However, it's a lot more manageable compared to week one or even day one. The pull-ups are definitely getting a lot easier, not easiest, but I think increasing the reps helps because I still do get tired towards the end. Going on for the next two days, I'll be increasing the reps per set from 10 to 15 just to continue to increase intensity at least some, somewhat. I still don't feel that I can do 100 perfect pull-ups. It's a, a lot of forcing to get to that point. However, I'm executing each pull-up to the best of my ability. So we have two days, let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish strong. See you guys with day 30. This makes 100 pull-ups, completing the 30-day pull-up challenge. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Now that the 30-day challenge is over, we're gonna go ahead and weigh ourselves once again and see how much how much weight we gained. All right, so we weigh 181.4 pounds, and that's a gain of. 3.4 pounds so that's pretty good you know it's not it's not a lot but for 30 days to gain almost three and a half pounds i'm sure a lot of that is muscle mass i'm happy with that gonna go ahead and get into the body progressions now let's see how well we have done gonna go ahead and get to the body progression Now that the 30 day challenge is over, there's a few things I would like to talk about. Number one, I'm very excited and very happy that I actually completed this challenge the first time through. In the past, I have started a challenge and would not complete it in that same month. I would come back to it either the next month or even months later. Just the fact that we are able to complete this challenge, I think that's that's a pat on our backs. I'm so, so happy that it's over. No more pull-ups. Honestly, this challenge was not enjoyable. I've been dreading it for, for the days to come, knowing that I have to wake up the very next day and do the same thing over. It's almost uh, a bit insane to, to think about. Moving onward, a few things that you should take note if you are to partake in this 30 day pull up challenge. Don't be like me. Fortunately enough, I was able to make it through this challenge without any injury, but you should be safe and be smart. Listen to your body. I, however, did not. Around, I wanna say mid week two, my left shoulder started aching very badly whilst doing pull ups and I could tell when I was doing pull-ups, I wasn't going straight up and down. Rather, I was pulling to one side, trying to like baby my left shoulder and arm. Um, I, I should have stopped and rested my shoulder. However, I felt that I had a lot of people uh, relying on me to complete this challenge. So I didn't want to let anyone down, rather it be one person or thousand. 
I didn't want to let anyone down, even even myself in a sense. I figured that personally, I would rather get hurt than to make an excuse to stop the challenge. And trust me, there were plenty of excuses between uh, soreness, injury, and sickness. I had plenty of reason to not complete this challenge. However, every day I woke up, I just decided this is the one most important thing I have to get done today. I'm not gonna do anything else until I finish this. So that's, that's a good mindset to have when trying to pursue any sort of goal that you have in mind. Another lifesaver that I believe I would not have made it out of the gate without is this massage gun. During the first couple days, I was so sore in my arms I would sleep in my bed with my arms out because if I didn't, I feel like they would always be curled and I didn't want my arms to, to stay curled like this. I wanted to stretch them out. As you can see right now, it's pretty simple for me to stretch out. However, in those first week or two, when I would try to stretch my arm out, it would just be so sore in the bicep, even uh, like in the forearm and obviously my triceps. Were, my whole upper body was sore. My back, my rear delts, my shoulders, like even up on my neck was sore, like lower back soreness, obviously upper back soreness, you know, lats, everything. Literally everything was so sore all the time. So any kind of movement or anything, it was just like, I didn't want to move. I just wanted to stay here, but I knew that I had to stretch out and allow the blood flow to go through my body. Another thing that was very important that I didn't start to realize until later in the challenge, which also could possibly be the reasoning for my shoulder feeling the way it did. You have to warm up and I use these. These are just, uh, they're called J bands. I used to use these when I was playing baseball, but really any elastic band works because all, all I do really is I just pull on these and I, just try to open up my shoulders, get the blood flowing a little bit. And I would kind of do like little circles around just to warm up my uh, the sh my shoulders mostly, but really any, any joint, any ball and socket that I have, you know, my shoulders, my elbows, like all of that. I just want to open everything up. And honestly, it gives you a good stretch in your lats, sometimes in your, in your uh, triceps, but it's always, always good idea to do some sort of stretching slash warm up before you go exercise at all. I really just want to thank everyone for all the support. There are plenty of times, despite potential injury, sickness, and just having having some sort of mishap, like when when I was doing pull ups and my uh, my door frame broke. <laughs> There's so many excuses to just quit and give up on this challenge, especially one that is more difficult. And I believe this probably was one of the more difficult challenges that I've done so far. The thing that kept me going were all of the, the positive support, all of the comments, all of in person too, friends, family, all of that, just people cheering me on, telling me good job to keep going, like that they're even thinking about trying this challenge or a different challenge or I inspire them like I never really expected to inspire anybody it was mostly just a personal log I see this this YouTube page as my own like personal time capsule so I can look back and just remember oh yeah I remember when I did this or that or when I did 100 pull-ups for 30 days so just for anybody to get any kind of benefit out of these videos out of these challenges that that means a lot to me personally. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me, rather it's one day or throughout the whole 30 days. You know, a single comment goes farther than you think. A single message, all of it. I, I really do appreciate all the support from the bottom of my heart. Moving forward, uh, tomorrow is the 31st and the day after is New Year's. So I get a whole day of rest and then it's back at it. 2021, we're gonna keep going strong. 
we're going to try to get a solid 12 different challenges done. That's the goal. We'll see how, how it turns out. Hope everyone has a safe New Year's and going into 2021, I hope you achieve all your goals that you shoot for. Uh, until then, peace.